Vindicare grabbing that Sentinel Holy Hammer with the Termagon Broods. Haven't seen Vindicare play Imperial Guard yet this tournament. He's been sticking to his Chaos, uh, Chaos Lord and Force Commander. And Holy Hammer sticking with the same build he's been using so far, as far as I've seen, which is with double Termagant so far. Vindicare capping power and wreck, same with Holy Hammer. Good to go so far. Lictor getting chased around by that sentinel. You can see Vindicare is uh, using that sentinel to keep an eye on the Lictor's location. And uh, just hasn't clicked to follow him. Finally drops that stun as the Inquisitor finishes capping. And uh, is just constantly harassing over there. Meanwhile the guardsmen uh, were engaged in melee with the Termagon broods. Uh, of course they lost that fight being even worse than Termagons in, uh, in melee right there. Took some opening shots as well. Uh, power node was popped right before the Lictor got in there. And uh, Vindicare also playing with a double sentinel right now. Uh, so you can see uh, Holy Hammer actually dodged. Oh man, and a stomp just before the power node is capped. Uh, dodged around the sentinel and then tried to cap finish that cap, but a sentinel uh, stomp did deter that capture right there. And uh, Holy Hammer now going with the triple Termagon build. Going to be trying to pour the range fire into these Sentinels now. The Lictor's getting very low, has to be very careful. Uh, faked out that stomp, or possibly just a little too late. It might have been trying to get that uh, Lictor, actually. And uh, the Sentinel constantly backing up, trying to get out of that triple termagant fire right there. A bit of a lag spike here. Let's let seem to be a common theme of this tournament. Speak up, Borgad. Seems like the common theme of this tournament. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been too bad. We've had a couple spikes, but nothing uh, nothing too heinous, luckily. So the Inquisitor has, uh, has picked up the crossbow bolt pistol, which of course gives the uh, crippling volley, which will immobilize and do damage over time. Uh, they're still saying you're quiet yet again. Yeah, I'm having, a, I'm having an issue with my, my volume controls. I should have, uh, should have done something about that. I'll see if I can get it fixed up after this game. You got it. So that Inquisitor is very low, drops that crippling volley, and then gets the heck out of there. Sentinel now pushing up into the Termagon squads, probably trying to get a stomp on these guardians. Our uh, guardsmen, rather, are capturing the point and just taking that fire from the uh, Termagons. Uh, will the stomp go down in time? It just barely saves those guardsmen. They get the cap off and get out of there with several models remaining. Lictor Alpha also gets pushed off of the point. And uh, Vindicare looks like he's doing a pretty reasonable job right now. With those two Sentinels. Holy Hammer bringing a Warrior Brood onto the field. And forcing off Vindicare's Guardsman squad. And there are now two Sentinels stranded up here without any Guardsmen support and uh, three squads of Termagons running around uh, with some Warriors supporting them as well. Here comes another Crippling Volley, pinning them all in place and uh, giving the Sentinel their opportunity to just go ahead and peg away at those Warriors while they're in the middle of all those Gaunts. 
Ideally, of course, he would have wanted to pop that warrior model a bit sooner than that while they were still hanging out in that crippling volley trying to set up that, uh... Trying to set up that synapse bomb, but didn't quite pull it off. The Inquisitor uh, looks like trying to pick off another model of those warriors. If you saw, she tried to start her cast animation for uh, Hammer of the Witches, but that warrior just barely got out of range. Meanwhile, the Sentinel's looking very low. It looks like it's going to escape, though. And uh, now those Termagants are kind of... kind of still pushing in there. Yeah, I got that Guardian Guardsman repaired just in time. It's quick enough, you can't focus Sentinel, but you gotta kill it. Yeah, Sentinels are, of course, very difficult to take out if... Uh if microed well, and of course, you kind of have to hope that the pathing gods are, are in your favor as well, from time to time. So that barb strangler warrior brood is going to come in and probably make short work of that guardsman squad. Oh, and you can see a large chunk of their HP just got knocked off. They escaped with a couple models. Uh, now they're firing upon that inquisitor, trying to get her off the field with all her obnoxious abilities, of course. Here comes a hammer of the witches. Didn't quite take out that warrior model. But uh, it is probably very close to death. They're hunkering down behind some cover to try to prevent too much... Oh, another little quick spike there. Oh, and uh, that warrior was just barely in range to knock back those uh, termagant models. And they're not going to be able to force off that inquisitor, it looks like. Oh, I spoke too soon. She does retreat. But, uh, meanwhile, Vindicare is heading on into Tier 2. With a huge requisition pool. Yeah, he does have quite a bit of rec. Uh, Hammer's not far behind, uh, can probably head to Tier 2 in a few seconds himself. But, uh, Vindicare will probably be able to bring some Tier 2 units onto the field as soon as he hits. And there it is, uh, bringing the Chimera onto the field with those two Guardsmen squads and the two Sentinels on the field, that's going to be a pretty obnoxious force. It's just going to make focusing the Guardsmen that are repairing just impossible. So it looks like we have, uh, in addition to the Chimera, we have a Stormtrooper call-in. For Vindicare. And uh, he's going to try to start take out, taking out those warriors. Uh, he really needs to try to keep those barb stranglers under control so he can use his other squads to move around and repair as needed. Meanwhile, he's using his stormtroopers to uh, engage those termagants. Drops the crippling volley right in there. And uh, the barb strangler still hammering away at those guardsmen. They finally lost a model and had to fall back. But uh, the VP's just sitting kind of neutral right now. But Holy Hammer's been making an excellent play with the Stormagons, just harassing that power down there. Oh yeah, he, he has, uh... Meanwhile, Holy Hammer is down bottom, as Borgrad called out, and uh, has been destroying Vindicare's power down here with these Hormagons. Got a Mantis Star coming out for Vindicare, definitely gonna keep him dancing around those. Yeah, that, that, that Manticore is going to be excellent for uh, breaking up these piles of nids. And uh, once, you hold, once you hold a couple of points with the Manticore, of course, it uh, makes it very difficult so long as you save your shots to get the decaps on those VPs. So Vindicare now uh, at a bit of a power disadvantage, but not looking too bad. Uh, but uh, definitely pretty far behind on the VPs so far. Sentinels were kind of sent bottom to deal with the map right now. And uh, Stormtroopers have gotten upgraded with an assault kit, but there's a call-in coming down on them. Probably some spore mines. There they are. One of them goes off right away. And uh, they are positioning themselves right in on that first squad of guardsmen that have not moved out. Oh, and one pops and takes a nice chunk of HP off. None of the guardsmen go down, 
But uh, they are causing some hurt on that scent. Uh, sorry, Inquisitor. That is Zoanthrope coming up for Holy Hammer. Oh, a Zoanthrope as well. That's going to be uh, very difficult to deal with. Mixed in with the Barb Stranglers, you might be seeing Guardsman spots just melting. That's very true. So here comes a Mana Core Strike. We're seeing the Mana Core on the field instead of that Chimera. Nice looking shot on those uh, on those Termagants. And uh, a pretty pretty nice rocket spread. Knocked over the Zoanthrope and the other squad as well. Didn't cause too much damage to either of those, but uh, some definite disruption. Stormtroopers and a Sentinel hanging out bottom trying to decap that VP. But uh, it looks like Vindicare is still struggling to get any VPs in his favor. He's... Uh, been doing all right uh, as far as taking some units out here, but is now sitting at about a 250 point VP advantage. Oh, and Vindicare drops the Lictor with a nice looking hammer of the witches. There's two zone throws on the field. They might not be able to hit Sentinels, but they can definitely take out guards. A second zone throw, you said? Yes. Aha. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, two zone throps now on the field. Uh, there goes the warp shot. That's going to make short work of those sentinels. Oh man, that's going to be both sentinels down right here. Uh, it does get the stomping, but there it goes. And uh, those two zone throps are going to make short work of the guardsmen and uh, stormtroopers that Vindicare currently has on the field. Yeah, another stormtrooper squad. Probably. Yeah, another stormtrooper squad coming onto the field, and uh, here comes another mana core strike, trying to probably just uh, just dissuade those zoanthropes from moving up any further than they were. Meanwhile, up top we've got the barb strangler warrior brood just hammering away at these uh, imperial guardsmen. One more shot. Oh, he does retreat. Thank goodness. They're getting particularly low right there. No. Another mana core strike. It looks like Holy Hammer's going to be able to get out of there. Yeah, he dropped all four rockets right on the spot where that zone throw was hanging out. There's an exchange up top, one warrior brute for six or seven guardsmen models. So he's got two infiltrated uh two infiltrated stormtroopers here with assault kits. I think he's trying to plan on sniping out those uh zone throws as quickly as he can. But he needs to be very careful. All those guardsmen are just getting shredded. Oh, and one of the zones does go down. Excellent play. Uh, Holy Hammer was just trying to get that extra shot in, I suppose, and uh, left him in there a bit too long, bringing another one on the field anyways, though. Not, not, uh, not perturbed by the loss of the first one at all. Just going ahead and bringing another one onto the field. Meanwhile, the Inquisitor had gone down and pushed off these Hormigaunts and uh, trying to keep the map in some form of control here. Uh, now that one of those zones went down... Oh, but here comes another shot right into the middle of both of those uh, piles. Has to be very careful. Here comes another call-in. Uh, probably going to be a... Uh, yeah, he needs to get out of there. Those were very low... Another squad of spore mines drops right in there, uh, but just in time, both guardsmen squads are moving in. Uh, you can see him maneuvering to spread out. So at least, oh man, and a zone throw shot, and combined with those uh, with those spore mines, hurt those guardsmen pretty badly. One more explosion, and they may have been gone. 
So, uh, crippling volley working very well, and of course in conjunction with the Manticore. Pretty much a forced retreat any way you see it. But, uh, Vindicare still doesn't have too much time to make sure he can keep these, uh, VPs in his favor right now. Looks like we're probably gonna have a Bane Wolf on the field. Uh, immediately both of those Termagons fall back and uh, get off the field. The third squad's also going to have to get out of there, I'm sure. I'm not sure why they're hanging out up here. But uh, Vindy's not going to hesitate to send that right up to the power farm. And he instantly builds the Venom Brute, because he's boxing in real AP. That's true. Uh, Venom Brute now on the field, uh, combined with those zone throps, of course, could make it uh, pretty hazardous for this Bane Wolf to stay up here much longer. Uh, looks like it's going to be able, as he knows that uh, the two zones are currently up top. Oh, those guardsmen have to be very careful. They do get out of there. The Venom Brood might be hard for us to kill the Bane Wolf with two assault that's shooting at it. Oh man, those guardsmen took a dual shot from those zone throps, lost several models, but still, uh, in Imperial Guard fashion, stayed on their spot, captured the point. Uh, Inquisitor now harassing these zone throps. Uh, you can see the Bane Wolf ability used there to slow down that Venom Brood. It does have to keep falling back, it needs to be very careful here. And, uh, despite losing his power, you can see Holy Hammer's just sitting on a huge pile of power at this point. It's really not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, there goes another crippling volley, and combined once again with the Manticore Strike, forcing off those dual Termagants. And, uh, that Bane was in a bit of trouble. Looks like it's going to go down. Those Rippers, of course, slowing that vehicle a little bit. And, uh, the Stormtroopers now in a bit of trouble. Oh wow, a nice looking Hellfire Strike right there, uh, landed right on top of those Venom Cannon Warrior Broods. But the Stormtroopers are in a bit of trouble. Uh, the Warriors got called off at the last second to drop a, uh, drop a Barb Strangler there on top of the Guardsmen. And uh, Vindy's ticking down under 50 VPs right now. Oh wow, and a nice looking zone throw shot, uh, reduced those stormtroopers to two members, and I don't know, this may be it for Vindy, he's really only got one last chance here to try to move out on the map, but even right now I'm not sure he can get out there in time. Luckily those rippers aren't causing enough damage to those uh, guardsmen to dissuade the cap. Yeah, they're really only there for disruption to... Suppression squads off you. Exactly. Oh no, the zone throw shot right in the middle of those guardsmen. Uh, with only 15 HP left, he probably could have finished that off. But it looks like the game's probably over anyways. There's the GG from Vindicare. And uh, that's going to be it for round one. So first round goes to, uh, goes to Holy Hammer. Looks like we had a couple games and in the loser's bracket while I was looking at that. You can see... Uh, Vindicare losing the unit and point score, uh, had a nice hero score, but uh, all in all, Hammer was just able to hold the map there. Vindicare chose to get that Manticore instead of the Chimera, which I thought was a curious choice.